I would like to show you a few more, few more fossils. This is a Chinese petal fish. We can see the fossil. First of all, we can see the living counterpart of this fossil. We can see that it exactly has the same qualities as it has on this fossil. And Allah created this fish with very different qualities. And it has not changed at all. This was this belongs to the Cretaceous period. It was found in Lebanon. And there has been no changes throughout the millions of years. And it has not evolved at all. It has been created with those qualities. And when we look at its counterpart in our day, we can see it possesses exactly the same qualities. It never evolved. And this is another fish species. This is the catfish. Its details on its vertebrates, we can see its tail. It has never changed throughout the 95. It is, it is a 95 million year dated fossil that was unearthed in Lebanon. And let us see the counterpart of this catfish. All the qualities are preserved. As you can see, Let's look at the heads, and here on the fossil, we can see the same heads here. If we can get a little bit more close, we can see that all the details are preserved along with the fins, and they possess exactly the same qualities, both in the fossil and also in the living counterparts, and they have not changed at all. This means that the claims of the evolutionists are not true at all. Definitely. There is no scientific ground on the claims that the evolutionists are making because their claims are not based on science. Just like childish irrationality, childish stories, they are making some claims. Other than those, all the evidences that we see in this world, all the scientific evidences show us that there is only creation and Allah created all these organisms at once with their entire uh, complexities.